Hi, in this video, we're going to use Infinite Talk on One GP to make videos with consistent characters that can go on and on with lots of action for any duration you want with or without lip syncing. Infinite Talk is known as a state-of-the-art lip sync model where you give it an audio and an image or video and then your output video contains lip sync action to your input audio. But Infinite Talk also has this interesting feature where the model takes in multiple frames from a video in creating its output, which means that it's very good for extending existing videos. So if you keep extending videos using Infinite Talk, you can get continuous action for as long as you want. So you can make infinite videos. The creator of WANGP was astute enough to notice this capability and added the feature where you can use Infinite Talk to make videos even if you don't have an audio. So you don't necessarily have to use it for lip sync, you can use it for just making very long videos that you string together with continuous action. So let's dive in. The first thing we're going to need is a series of still images that will serve as guidance for our video generation. To make those images, I am going to use Nano Banana, aka Gemini Flash 2.5, it's free for some number of generations per day and very fast. There's many tools you can use to do this now, including WANGP, but for this, we're just going to do this really quickly where we're going to start with an image of a dog and then give it a series of prompts to change the dog's location and what it's wearing so we can craft a story. After a bit of iteration, I created this series of images which tells the story of the superhero dog rescuing the fallen stake. Now we're ready to open WANGP. I am running it on an A40 in RunPod. I will link to a separate tutorial I have to take you step by step on how to get going with WANGP in RunPod, but here we are, we have it running. And I'm just showing that there are image editing models available. Quen image edit and flux context are available if you want to do your image editing right in here instead of nano banana first thing we're going to do in one gp is go to one 2.1 image to video 480p fusion ix 14b and kick off a generation if you already have the fusion explorer downloaded in your boras underscore i2v directory or if you want to just download it directly you can skip the step but it's an easy lazy way to make sure the correct bora gets downloaded to the correct location so just kick off a generation and you can abort the generation once the download happens or you can use this generation as the first segment of the longer video that we're going to create once you do that the Vora will automatically download to your boras i2v directory and you can check that out to make sure it is there because we're going to need it in Instant to Talk. Now let's open Infinite Talk Single Speaker 480p. It's under 1.2.1. And if you liked the last video you created and you want to continue from there, you can select Continue Last Video. But we are going to start from scratch. On the first generation, you're going to see this image starting point for new videos box. You want to not use that. So we're actually going to click Continue Video and then Text Prompt Only, and that box will disappear. So then we're going to go to the drop down and select images to video. Each reference image will start a new shot with a new sliding window smooth transitions. Then we're going to upload our first reference image. This is the beginning of our storyboard. We're going to select voices none. We're going to write a prompt here. I'm saying the dog sniffs the air as if he smells something. We are doing 480p, we're doing a 9 by 16 we're doing eight inference steps. We really get to cut down on the inference straps because of that Fusion X LoRa that we downloaded. I'm using a seed of 42 so I can reproduce this. There's nothing magical about that. Guidance of 1. Audio guidance doesn't matter since we don't have an audio. A shift scale of 3. And that's the things we just change in that tab. We go in the LoRa's tab and we select that LoRa that we downloaded, the Fusion X LoRa put it at 1.0 multiplier. Step skipping, we'll put on TCache to accelerate it a bit. Then at nothing to change in quality. In sliding window, I'm shortening the window to 81 frames because I want the action to move along faster and so the reference images will take effect faster. You can leave it as it was. Then for text prompts and images, you want them to be creating new sliding windows of the same video generation instead of creating 
new videos in the queue. So this lets you add multiple reference images and keep continuing the video with those reference images. And they took each one will be a new sliding window. Then under miscellaneous, we're going to select source video FPS for our override frames per second. This won't matter for this first generation because we're not starting with the video, but once we are continuing a video, it will. And then we click generate. So it took about five to six minutes to create our first 81 frames. And now we can start doing some transitions and take advantage of the InfoTalk capabilities here. So we want to do continue last video. So we're going to continue off of that initial 81 frames we made. And then we're going to drop in our image of the dog as a superhero. And this video clip will transition him into the superhero. So we keep almost everything the same. We just change our prompt to a prompt I had ChatGPT help me with to say how we would do this transition with a swirling, glowing burst of light. Then we keep everything else exactly the same and click generate. And then six minutes later, we have our transition to super dog. So now we have our intro three seconds plus a transition three seconds. And let's continue on with our story. This time, instead of it clicking continue last video, I'll show you how you can do the same thing with continue video, meaning you can pull in a completely different clip that you've generated here or not. We are actually going to pull back in the video we just generated to keep continuing our dog super story, but you can at this point shorten the video so that you're only using the end of it and not all of it, but you can just modify however you want. You see that we have the same six seconds there. And we're going to pull in the next still image of our story, which is the dog running to take off to flight. Confirm that we have our image smooth transition selection, and we're going to change our prompt to the camera zooms out and the dog runs and takes off in flight. Everything else remains the same and click generate. And then we see our results and we continue on in the same way generating the pieces of our story. You don't have to do this in 81 frame increments. You can do longer generations and you can have that with just one reference image where it transitions to, or you can do multiple and set up windows that are smaller than your total generation time. I encourage you to play around, but here are a couple of gotchas that I hit. The first one was transitions that just didn't quite work. When I wanted the dog to land on the city street, I had an image of the dog already landed. And the model kept just landing the dog on himself. So with an overlap. So to fix this, I then just generated an image without the dog at all on the sidewalk. And when I reran it to generate the transition, it placed the dog on the sidewalk as I wanted. So you sometimes have to be a little creative about the reference images. The other issue I hit was running out of RAM, not VRAM, but regular RAM, as I kept extending the video at around 28 seconds. The A40 I was running on ran out of memory. This is because WANGP is doing some processing before it writes out the video and it's holding the whole video in memory. So that's an issue you might hit. This, the solution is just to, after you've generated, say, 20 seconds of video take the last two one to two seconds of that and then use that as your video to continue from you will still have very nice transitions the motions will flow and then you can concatenate your video pieces together in an editor here's another example of a video i made with this infinite talk method like the dog video with this video i did 162 frames at a time so you can see that the transitions are a bit longer for both this video and the other video i brought the video into a video editor and added sounds and music from epidemic sound i told you you regret thanks for watching post any questions in the comments